Hello guys and welcome back to Coding Orbit and welcome back to the Firebase tutorial. In this video, we will wrap up the Firebase tutorial to end it and send notification between two devices. So let's get started. Alright, to get started, I've already added these four libraries into our pubspec.yaml and before we continue or do anything, let me just terminate the app and go to Firebase uh, Firestore and delete all of these because we want to make some changes. So copy users, paste them here and click delete. Now we will have no users in our Firebase Firestore. Now let's go back to the app. If you remember in the Firebase helper, we had a token, we said final string token equal nothing. Now we need to generate the token. So we will say await Firebase messaging dot instance dot get token. And that's how we get the token, but this token is nullable. So we will check here if token equal equal null just return and do nothing okay and since this is returning true or false we'll return false here and we no longer need this to do all right now let's run the app to see the changes that we will have all right the app ran and it took us to the sign up page because we have no users currently so let's enter an email let's say email at gmail for example Com and dot com. let's say the password one two three four five six seven eight and let's say the name user one and let's click sign up to see if it will work or not so this email already used we can't use it let's say email one and sign up okay now as you can see we have a token now previously it was empty so if we go here and refresh this page firebase storage Firestore database we shall see this user and we shall see this token this token is unique to this device and each device has a unique token that can be used to send and receive notification all right now since we will deal with notifications we will need a notification service as we created the firebase helper here we will create a new file in the services and we'll call it notification service dot dart and inside here i'll just paste everything this is a uh, copied from previous tutorial on the notification with the, with the small edits to meet the new requirements and new edits of the library and i'm using for the icon the default flutter launcher mitmap ic launcher which is the flutter logo now in this methods we only care about two new methods which are on message and on message open the app the on message will listen to three values the first one is remote notification the second one is android notification the third one is apple notification and we can extract them from the remote message itself so remote message dot notification dot android or dot apple or the whole notification now we'll, we will check on the notification if it's not we will not return anything just empty return stop the code if it's not null we are using the notification plugin to show the notification that we has now you might ask we're not using these two values you can use them if you want but let's have it generic type or generic notification in this tutorial same as on message opened app if the app is opened and receive a notification will not show a normal notification will show a dialog inside flutter app so we'll just say show dialog with the context that we have and alert dialog text the notification or if it has no title just default no title same as the body and you can manipulate or change that as you like all right now before we do anything else we need to make sure that we initialize the service as well so if we go back to the main dart file we have here await firebase with initialize app which we will take it and implement it in the firebase helper class now inside here let's have static future void and let's say set up service or firebase which takes nothing and it's async now inside here we'll initialize the app inside here and we'll add these imports now now after that we have to initialize the firebase mes messaging as well so we will say firebase messaging dot on background message we have to listen to that now instead of having the message this way we will create a method like this okay now 
let's create this method and let's have it as async and inside this method we don't have things to do we just want to initialize the firebase app in case it's not initialized and maybe we can say print we have received a notification and let's say message dot or okay so let's say message dot notification okay and we'll deal with the notification later once we initialize it now we will have to create another method or not inside here okay now we will have to call this method inside here so we will say await firebase helper dot set up firebase and we can take this out okay now we also have await notification notification service dot initialize notification and that would do it and we can add a little more to the setup firebase we can say await firebase messaging dot instance dot set foreground notification presentation option we can play with the options here for example we can have the alert true or false let's say true badge let's say for example false here and we have sound so let's play sound let's say true and you can change whatever you want in these inside here in the initializing and if you wish instead of recalling this we can just call this method down there so instead of having this we can have await uh, set up firebase and that's it instead of having that there okay now let's save the app and let's terminate the app all right now since we have our firebase helper ready and our notification service ready we can go ahead and start implementing the ui for sending the notification so i will add a new screen here let's say send notification screen dot dot and i will paste this and explain it so this screen will accept a string token so whenever we call this screen we will need a token to send to it and then we have three editing control uh, two editing controllers and an image picker so the editing controller to take the title and the body from the user and the image picker is to pick an image and upload it with the notification so in the init state we'll just initialize them and then i have three variables one x file one is loading and the last one is the image so we're having a little bit of state management here we have an app bar send notification to device with single child scroll view of padding we have a text form field uh, for the notification title and another text form field for the notification body and then we have this inquel which is actually a container that has an icon of the image or the image itself that we wish to upload so inside here we're just setting the is loading to true with the set the state and then we are extracting the, Im the picked image from the gallery and if x file is not none we are setting state and then we are extracting the url from a method in the firebase helper to upload an image now we need to create this method upload image into our firebase helper class now let's come here and let's say static future future with capital T void or it has to return a string but this string might be nullable so let's say nullable string and let's call it upload image which takes in which takes in a file and file but make sure this file is dart.io not file.html and this is async as well so inside here what we're gonna do we're gonna say final we will create a storage ref so we will say storage ref is equal to firebase storage dot instance dot ref then after we do that we'll create a reference for the image in our storage ref so we will say and this might be not a bit image ref is equal to storage ref dot child and we'll have a path here so the path let's have it images underscore uh, slash let's say token image dot jpg 
now after we do that let's have a try catch block and inside here inside the try we'll say await image ref dot set or dot put file the file we got and after it we're just gonna return so return await image ref dot get downloadable url so what we will do we will upload the file to firebase storage then we will get a downloadable url from the same image that we up uploaded to send it with a notification on the catch let's just say print e and then return null and we're returning null here because it might have an error and this is nullable so inside here we are done with the upload image so we're good to go however we have another method okay so after we type in the title the body and we select an image the image is always optional so you can send an image or don't send an image that's all right and we have the token we will have a method to generate this event or a button to generate this event to send notification to another device which will handle this notification method in the firebase helper so in the firebase helper down beneath this method the upload image let's have static future void okay future is wrong okay void or let's have it as bool so we can say if it's uh, succeeded or not now let's have it let's say send notification which will take in string title which is required required string title required string body now the image is not required but the token is required so required string token and finally just the string image the url for this image and this must be async and we're good to go now inside here as the method test health as we created this https callable we will create a new one for the another notification uh, another method in the functions so i will copy these and i will go to the firebase index.ts so here we have two methods the first one is check health and the second one is send notification so i will copy this name and come here and say send notification now this callable when we call this callable as you can see it doesn't complain about we're not sending these the title the body the image the token however <laughs> you shall send them so inside here we can say string dynamic and inside here we can start sending them so let's say title and make sure it match what you wrote in here so title this title and it doesn't matter if you call this title or my title however what comes in the string matter so let's copy this body and let's have it like this and body and we also have the image and the token so this the image and this for the token so now we are good to call the callable now after we finish this we can say we can say print inside here print result is and we can say what we call it response dot data for example and if it's null let's say okay so if it's null let's say no data came back however in the method we are returning either successfully sent message or invalid argument with the http error so whenever we call this we shall receive data back now what we can do because we created it as boolean we can just say if response to data different from null or let's say equal equal to null return false else or without else just return true if it has data 
Now, I guess that's it. That's what we have to do. But we can also wrap this with try catch. So we can have try here and catch the error here. And let's say print. There was an error with the E. Okay, so in the try, let's have all that. And that's it. However, in the catch, we have to return false as well. And that's it for this method. So we are good to go. All right, now before we run the app, we still have one thing left to do, which is we have to go to the home screen. And instead on the widget that add here in the user widget, instead on the only click, instead of calling Firebase helper dot test health, what we will say, we will say navigator dot push and uh, with context material page route and in the builder we will pass in the context and we will navigate to send notification screen which need to have a token which is the model dot token inside here and that's it now we're ready to run the app now let's run the app to see how it looks all right now this device is user 2 and the previous device is user 1 now if I click on send notification this screen will appear so let's say title and let's say body here without any image let's try and say send notification to see what will happen as you can see the response is true success is true response successfully send message to this project to this token all right now it might not load the first time especially because the emulator is buggy however it will so in a couple of minutes we will receive that notification all right we received the notification a little bit late however we received it after all so now if i click send notification again hopefully you can hear the sound as well but you can see that we are receiving the notification and if i click on the images and downloads select one of these images and wait for it to upload to uh, firebase storage then get downloadable ull and if i click send notification it's not working we are not receiving an image and if we read why because user is not authorized to perform the desired action so if we go to the firebase storage and we go to the rules and then we change the rules a little bit so here allow read and write if false let's change it and allow read and write no matter who's uploading the picture this is a security breach but for the sake of this tutorial we will do it as so so if we come back here and try to send the notification it didn't complain about the image however we didn't receive the image but if we come here and come to the files hopefully okay so it didn't upload the image as well. Okay, let's try again. Or we have to select the image all over again. Okay, now if we come here. Okay, now if we send the image. Let's send it again. Okay, we finally got the image. And if we come here and we click refresh, we will see that we have a directory called images inside it we will have a token image i think we called it dot jpg and that was all so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video make sure to comment subscribe and like the video i'll see you in the next video